you know, with this game, as, as I've said in the past, you can throw records out, you can throw statistics out, those things don't mean anything. It's the Civil War, it's us versus them for state supremacy, and I think that they're going to play their best game. As I've told our team every year, every team in this conference has played their best game against us. We need to be prepared for that. And I think the biggest thing, the bowl game doesn't matter to us at this point. It's, it's beating, defeating Oregon State. Jumps in motion to the left, and they're going to give it. No, rolling left to throw Graziani. Is he going to run? He's going to throw it to Jumps. Touchdown! A.J. makes the grab. Oregon State Beavers, Civil, Civil War. Can you say Cotton Bowl? Oh, boy, I can't wait to have my Cotton Bowl shirt hanging there next to my Rose Bowl shirt. White's going to turn, give it to Schmitke, and he is going to be... No call. I don't think he did it. He is stopped. He is stopped. It's the green pants, baby. <laughs> I've, I've, I've loved those uniforms since day one. Seven straight wins on the road if you throw out the Rose Bowl, undefeated in the green pants. Staring a bowl game in Texas right in the face. The Ducks are 8-2. and two. It's Civil War time. Here's second down and goal. Draws under center. Back to the aisle. Whittle's jump. Draws with the ball under center. Going to turn to give it to Ricky. Up the middle. Dives. And he's in. He got it in. Oregon victorious today. It's a groundswell for the green pants. Absolutely. It's a huge game. It always is a huge game. You know, regardless of the, of the score, regardless of records, regardless of anything else, it'll, it'll be a war. And, and, uh... Kids, Charlie, both of those guys. No, yes, sir. No, both said Lamont is going to drive there. On the no, side. no. He, when he found out that he, all he had to do was be here, he yeah. said he'll meet you here. Both of them will meet you here at 11:45. Uh, okay, practice today is uh, 4:45 to 5 o'clock. Stretch agility. Um, We've gone 2020 20 and 20, and I don't. I think uh, 10 minutes of individual, 10 minutes of seven on seven, O versus scouts. D can be on your own. I don't think you want it, do you? No, sir. What? Yeah, no, that's right. We. I'm gonna have let Mark take his kids and start Working trying on. to work on one phase of that attack and then we're going to talk through one phase of how we're going to attack that attack and then we'll, when we come together in a team maybe they'll be able to run that attack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is that the best way then to break up the time? I guess it is. There's not much involved because when we go punt return, punt return might be a big teaching time, correct? Bill? So mm -hmm. we don't, we basically just stand guys out there during punt and they don't even move. Uh, now, kickoff returns, we have 10 guys to climb down to cover, of course, but uh, it, it's not like some of the other days where we're well, scouts. Well, that's what that's, and I that's think you need to spend the time coaching Mark, coaching up that technique. Yeah, so maybe we release him from special teams. Uh, I think everybody else, and just grab those kids specifically themselves. Yeah, Mark, you need to make a list of those guys and let them know who you need. You know, position they're playing. Grab them during that period. So it goes to five, and it's ten minutes individual. 
close to six, yeah. Ten minutes individual, ten mm -hmm. minutes of seven on seven for the offense, and ten minutes of team or individual, whatever you want to call it there for you. Twenty minutes of special team, okay. ten and ten. Twenty minutes of team. In the morning. We will have the special teams meeting Saturday or Friday night. That, that will stay the same. No, no one for position. Okay. A couple of academic things. One, um, after this week, this is our, in terms of our kids and finals week. After this week, there's three days, uh, the week of Thanksgiving. The week after that's dead week. <clears throat> and then it's finals week. So there's not a lot of time uh, left for our kids. And I know a lot of those kids like to take off after the banquet and miss days prior to Thanksgiving. And I'm not sure how we will approach that. What we need to do this week is talk with each of the kids, get a good feel for where they're at, what they need to do with their classes, if they're with a tutor, because some of them have still been delinquent, even though they're having problems of really getting together with the tutor. So let's make sure that we follow that up, especially your problem children. And uh, the other thing, Coach, we need, if, if you have guys that are graduating early, graduating after this term, you may just get with them and make sure they fill out all the paperwork and have gone through all the procedures so that's nice and clean. Who are we talking about? Jackson, Moles, and some Collins. Collins. Burn up those phone lines, guys. Burn up the phone lines. Uh, and beat the viewers. So, okay. Okay, I'll get that to you. Um, how study hall over here, Andy? Study table is being played over here. Um, we've got both Mike and myself, and, and then Randy. Yeah, I like Randy. Kind of, yeah, Randy. Randy kind of throws a curveball to the whole scene. You know, he yeah. kind of rubs these guys, and I'm getting a lot of feedback from some of the guys saying that you know, Randy better watch out, or he's gonna get smashed. Yeah, they don't. But the bottom line is, Randy gets the job done. Right. You know, he's kind of abrasive at times, but he's a good guy. Um, pretty simple. It's supposed to, if you do what you're supposed to do, it's oh, yeah. doesn't bother you. So. Yeah. Otherwise, study table's going fine. We got uh, using the Pittman room, not the Pittman room, but the football theater. That's really helped. And I suspect that we should probably drop, the percentages are probably dropped at least in half as far as the number of guys we got going to the study table just because of the grades. So I think you'll probably find next term 80% of the guys doing a uh, study table over there. But for now, you know, we got a good crowd here. So that's going well. I think it's really been helpful that the staff drop in, just poke their head in yeah. and make these guys accountable for stuff. Yeah, continue to do that. There's been some question as to whether or not we would like to wear all green this week. Okay. All you have to do on the back of your ballot, if you listen, if you want to wear green pants, put yes on the back of your ballot. If you don't, put no. Guys, listen up. Uh, one of the things I'd like to congratulate you, first of all, you were undefeated on the road, which is a tremendous accomplishment. Uh, the other thing is that uh, we got uh, word, the, the crew on that plane said that uh, you guys were the best group of athletes they'd ever taken, the most well behaved, the most supportive, and I want to tell you that I thank you, I'm very proud of you for that, because you continue to do the things that we talk about uh, that show class and dignity, both on and off the field. This week... For those of you that don't know, I'm going to give you a little bit of history. Not too much, because I don't have a lot of history, but uh, we play the Beavers. They're one and nine. Okay? Uh, 
That record doesn't matter. Okay, I will tell you that right now. Um, they believe that they can salvage their season if they beat us Saturday. They believe, because they have beat us twice in a row at Autzen Stadium, they're already starting to practice taking their seniors off the field. Uh, the freshmen have to pick them up and carry them out there. They practice that. Uh, they will start Tim Alexander, who was healthy and ready to play last week, but they held him out of that game because they knew they didn't think they could beat SC. Um, but they want to try to beat us. They've saved everybody they can to be healthy for our game. They have practiced against us 10 minutes a day, every day, in the first half of the season. Once it looked as if they were going to have a losing record, instead of going to a bowl game as they thought, they upped that to 30 minutes a day. Every practice day, they practice against the Ducks. Now, maybe if they practice against those other teams, they might have won some of those games. But, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, it bothers me, but at the same time, it ought to show you how important we are in their mind and how important that game is to them. Uh, those of you that have been here, uh, and I've said this publicly, you can throw records and statistics and all that other stuff out the window. This is a big game. It's a big game for them. It's obviously a big game for us. Whatever type of bowl bid we have is riding on this game. I don't think I have to tell you that. Um, and I'm not going to belabor the point. And the other thing is I will tell you that last year we were in the exact same situation. Uh, we were leading the league. And we had to win that game to go to the Rose Bowl. Well, we have to win this game to go to the Cotton Bowl. I'll tell you that right now. Um, but bowl game stuff aside, uh, I will tell you that we're not going to back into anything. We're going to beat the Beavers. We've broken just about every streak that there is. Uh, we, we won the battle in Seattle, and that was 15 years. We uh, took it away from the guys in Tucson, and that was 12 years. Well, we'll reclaim our stadium for ourselves this weekend. It's a sellout crowd, 3.30, national TV audience. Um, when we talk about it, we said the same thing in Washington, the same thing in, in Tucson. This is what we're here for. We have an opportunity to do big things, be in major bowl games, January 1st bowl games, back to back. I don't think that's ever been done here. I don't know. I would guess. And that's a great accomplishment. But it will take a lot of work. It'll take us Focusing, us not overlooking anything, us understanding that the beavers become a different animal this week, okay? Aquatic rodent that they are. That was sort of a joke. <laughs> All right. My point is, though, and I don't think, I think the guys that have been here, have played the game, understand it's an intense, hard-fought game. One in which, I'm going to tell you, we need to play good football, but we need to play smart football. I don't think they give us much respect, I will tell you that right now. Probably of every team in this conference, the Beavers respect us the least. Because they think that they can beat us. And they think that one and nine, they can walk in here and really presume that they're going to win that game. Well, in my mind, it's time for us to stop that kind of thinking and prove <coughs> that records are important. Prove that performance is important. Not potential, but performance. And we perform. We've won almost every tough game. We've been undefeated on the road. Reclaim Autzen Stadium. Reclaim <coughs> our turf. I'm not saying do it with a vengeance. Just do it. Okay? I'd like to see us focus and take care of business across the board. And it's very important that in and around our bowl practices, finals, etc., your commitments, that you keep up with the academic part of it. Uh, we're not going to fall off the face of the earth. We're going to continue to do well in the classroom as we've done. And there's no quarters that we take off. Some of you upper division people now have to understand that the 25, 50, 75% rule towards your degree comes into play. And in addition to grade point average, you must now also have percentage of your major completed, or you will not be eligible by NC2A standards. We've already alerted several of you that are in that situation, and you can't afford to fall down or take a quarter off. Okay. And obviously, I want to continue with this team what we're accomplishing right now. In other words, I want to be talking the same way next year about us going to a January 1st bowl game. And I want to do it with the people that are here in this room that have eligibility left. 
So how are we doing? Good, Ashley. Good, Ashley? Yeah. Well, well I would think good, Ashley. Oh, uh, econ's tougher than a lot tougher than it should be because it's an intro class with yeah. a new professor, Figlo. Yeah. He te I mean, he's fresh out of college, and I understand what he's trying to do, but it's hard to do applications when you have money vocabulary mm -hmm. yet, you know. Mm -hmm. And he's totally mm -hmm. our tests are, you know, some of the older guys are econ and saying that's like the, a lot higher level. Well, because we're if you can get through it, it, think of what. You have gained. Yeah, but in it's that. a lot tougher yeah. than it should yeah. be, I'll tell you that. It's good to you. But you're you're working hard and yeah. you're talking to him and stuff. I mean, I that always helps. So oh, why don't you start doing that? It's such a good thing to I learn know. to do. Yeah. It really is. I was like I guess I'll just I'll stay with this two oh two for okay. right now. All right, see what you think of see it. See if I, I, okay. I like it. There's one at uh, two Monday Wednesday Friday and there's one at twelve thirty. You want the twelve thirty one? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, might as well. Give it a shot and see what you think of it, and then we can make decisions for major based on yeah. the experiences you have. What really kind of grabs your interest? Going to make the jump next term? Uh, Start off with one? I really think it'll be the saving grace. Okay. Okay. I didn't mean to bring in the big guns, but I've been a little worried. I've been a lot worried. I've had to talk to him plenty of times. Tony, you've talked to him plenty of times? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, I just think it's real important that, you know, next term and spring term, we really hit it and hit it hard and uh, get through it. And, I mean, you know, you're too smart to have this kind of stuff get in your way. So, make some jumps. Okay. All right. All right, good? Thanks. All right, now, the conditioning, we'll come back and we'll put in a math and a writing, but those are given so much that I'm not worried about that too much. The way the conditioning works in the winter is you have three hours of conditioning a week and three hours of lifting a week. Okay. okay? You condition on Monday, and for you, it's Thursday and Friday, and you lift Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So what that's going to mean is there's going to be a condition and a lift on Monday and a condition and a lift on, on Friday. On Wednesday, you just lift, mm -hmm. and on Thursday, you just condition. So it's six hours a week. Mm -hmm. Well, although it says that the only prereq is the accounting 213, but the times are not good again either. Okay. It's going to conflict. You want to do a late one? Okay. Might as well. Okay. Yeah, in the winter, take advantage of it. Yeah. Well, because practices are going to be in 6 in the morning anyway. On Friday. Right the... Yeah. Just on Friday, so. Yeah, throughout the year, though. Do you have a paper in 208? Oh, I have to do another one, but it's not. For another week and a half, two weeks. Mm -hmm. On, do you know? The yeah. Tempest. Tempest. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. yeah. So, um, critique of that. So okay. That should be fairly easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, uh, when he first came in here, you know, he was um, just a regular type kid, normal. Then uh, the other day, he's laying on the couch talking. We were doing uh, deconstructionism and feminism, and we were talking about English, and we were doing. Arguing about the critical stance to different people are playing and you know, taking and stuff and you know he just he's really taken off and he's doing great with his uh, his work with uh, Candace Montoya. Mm -hmm. He turned in a rough draft and they graded it. And he uh -huh. did didn't do as well as uh -huh. he normally does. And yeah. He revised. It. It's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've heard you know some of the other players that he tutors. Mm -hmm. And they, they said, well, Reggie can really write. Mm -hmm. well, Reggie can't write. <laughs> I mean, he probably can write a little bit. He's I was impressed. Yeah, yeah, I was, he can. I was impressed. Yeah, he's he's really thinking very deeply, and he's getting out of the old uh, the style that our school systems have taught our students always to do, which is read and sort of regurgitate. I mean, he's reading and thinking and applying, and it's it's just such a that's the reason I stay in this job. Hey, okay. we're closing in on it here. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Spring term. I know. A graduate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> spring. Oh, you'll be done by spring. Yeah, easily. And then we can do some graduate work in the in the fall. Yeah. Or you played your last it. season. Or I might just take it easy. Nah, graduate <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Let's get a few credits done. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. Might as well. So. Sounds good to but me. But sounds great to me. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, you'll feel really good in the fall mm -hmm. if you're all done with everything. Yeah. 
and then we can either you know get some extra credits done or do some graduate credits. Yeah. And your last season, you're going to be pretty busy anyway, so it's really nice to be able to finish this up in the spring. Uh, Good job, Reggie. No problem. <laughs> no, school's not not been a problem. It won't be a problem. So. That's great. Hi. Great. Do you have any more tickets for the football game? Uh, well, what I need is um, do you have um, general admission? Okay. Um, let's see how much are your uh, you know what you how about standing room tickets? Okay, um, where are the 850 tickets located at? Really? Oh, okay, $15 each for standing room. <laughs> okay, hmm. Well, I think I'll take, um, how much are the regular tickets also? Okay, well, what I think I'll do, what's that? Oh, you don't have to get that. Might as well just get the standing room there. I'd like two standing room tickets. Now let me add... Uh, so okay. even an eagle saying, both of them, we will we'll plow it. That's what we'll call it. This guy will roll back to here on it. See, Kenny's going to go over here and take this guy. So that means this person has really got this man. Which person? That person, yes. Right? Right? And you, yeah. you both need to be going this way, too. Yeah. And as soon as you see this, y'all ought to be sprinting. Yeah, we're sprinting there. The only thing is, as as possible, I guess, is the camera. They won't run a camera back this way. They run a camera back that way, don't they? And they start start that. And they start well, the camera and run a camera back this way. Yeah, he'll start like this, but then he he'll come up in here. So he'll see that. Yeah. And, and then they'll. And as soon as that guy boogies, he goes this way, and he's going to try to pick him up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, see how you got you got the linebacker. When both linebackers are in the middle, we cannot cancel that way all the way, can we? Because if you do, if you turn like that guy does, cancel. Here, here comes the midline. Right, and it's going to be doing split when we when we're going to be there and that have to worry That's about that. That's exactly right? right. So if if both if both linebackers are in the middle, you've got to be careful how fast you cancel. Okay? Are we all right on that? Right. Okay. Well, I'm always so proud that last week when I was watching the game on TV and one of the announcers at one point said, oh yeah, he's an English lit major. I'm like, yes! I mean, I would want him to you know, yeah. talk about that more than they do. Yeah. Actually, uh, it, it was very nice to hear. <laughs> and he said, uh, wow, he studied a lot of Shakespeare. I guess the play is the thing. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it was cute. Yeah. But uh, I wish they'd talk about that. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. Fun student athlete aspect to it during the game. Yeah, they just want to do the athlete part, and I want the student part to come in there because people don't understand mm, not well. uh, how much has gone into this and how hard people work. So, I mean, you certainly work hard at football, but uh, yeah. there's other things too. I can play for that seat. <laughs> this 
lang language is important in the society. You can see it in the, the slave days when they brought the different slaves across and the, they split them up in different groups. They, they wanted to destroy their language and that's what they did, you know. Uh, you see, no, I, there's no culture for African Americans right now because of that. And conversely, for the Native Americans, it's tough for them, you know, to uh, keep their culture alive, you know, except for the reservations. Uh, this essay is very utopian and very extreme to the, to the natural eye. Once they're assimilated, that doesn't guarantee that they'll be accepted. They, they'll still be on the outside looking in. They still exist today. I mean, yeah. you could look at Newt Gingrich stating that he wants all um, like single parent head people to go to um, um, orphanages. That's stupid and it's ridiculous. I mean, how could you? If you'd rather have one stable parent than no parent at all, I mean, that's it. I mean, God, how far have we come? You know. What do you think about this? This is this is how it used to be, and even if it is a little exaggerated. This isn't how it is now, and she doesn't quite understand why that is, and why they can't be there anymore. It's not an inference for the government, it's an inference from the media, the technology, when the, I don't think it would last at all. I mean, of course, we are here sitting all privileged and have everything we want or are striving to get what we want. I mean, we're, you know, 1% of 1% of the world who's got working on a college education. But in countries where a lot of people are satisfied um, with yeah, their substance living. I mean, those people who are not satisfied, they make efforts to to get to the urban areas. Okay, those who are satisfied, you know, growing their own food and stuff, providing for the family, they continue to do so. Or split saying the seven technique got you have to fight outside because they do a pretty good job of doubling and getting the tight end up and sealing the back and they run right outside of you. Now, if you beat the double team, no one will block your quarterback and run into your arms. So he doesn't, the tight end doesn't lock on me. No, he's he's going to get the back, the, the mic. Or the, so the should we just rip through that? If you can rip through reds and keep fighting out, it'd be great because... But I don't think our scouts going to do a good job of showing that. They'll do a better job today. I mean, they've never done that yesterday. They didn't know. But today, they're normally pretty good in the morning. They'll be great. That one is tough. Yeah. But you'll make the play because they don't block it. They look for the soft corner red. As soon as they get to where you, with the seven technique, hit, they go downhill. Yeah. So if you come through there, you'll make the play. If you don't make it on him, you'll at least hit the fullback. And the fullback is also going up and blocking the safety. So she has a three and just like, in essence, you got to go. So no, no read. All right. Second time today I've been filmed. News guys filmed me. They studied the friend. Yeah. Hey, Dave. What's up? You got class at 1230? Yeah. Why so late? Uh, is it a class What, is it history or uh... Computer art? Oh, uh, that class hard? Uh, a little bit. The thing I want to communicate, Paul, Bridge, and if any other guys play it, because we all can have a plan. You don't want to be off the line, bag off in a flex. We want to be on the line, shuffling down a little. Okay. Uh, if you can, we got quarterback. If you see the ball and the dive's in, you see the ball in the fullback's hand, you can, get, you can do it. But if not, we have quarterback. So do or don't attack it then? I don't think you have to attack it. No I think you shuffle and re yeah. If in doubt, take the quarterback. We got quarterback in doubt. Yeah. If you watch it on film, call me. When we watch it today, we'll watch it. We'll watch it. We'll watch it. 88. 88 is the goal line, you guys. Get it, Derek. He looked like a Maurice. <laughs> <laughs> 
All the kids at home, go to school, get a good education. Okay, stick one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Yes, I do. All right, stick two. That could be in the uh, Y connector over there. I'll, I'll double check that. All right, stick two. Alright, stick two, 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 three, three, two, two. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Away from you in the quarterback heels, you have containment, so you inherit the quarterback. Alright? On an easy day, all the action goes this way, and the quarterback heels, you should be picking the quarterback up because Brian is going to be cold back inside. Oh, Really? How's the defensive game plan for this one? You know what, Paul? I think it's pretty good. Got some good change-up stuff. We're attacking it. We're not going to let it get started. We're going to attack it. You know, I think uh, what we should do here is bring the defensive end. You bring the defensive end every time, and you're going to smack the quarterback. Every time he runs the ball, you make you him hit the quarterback. You got to hit him every You make him, you time. hit him, now, you hurt now, him, you now. hurt him. Okay, I'm up in the box during the game. If, he, if, if they're not hitting him, you talk to Reggie and Jensen. I'm talking about even after they pitch the ball, because once he turns around and runs, it becomes a runner, right? Is that the rule? It's the rule. So here's once my, he here's starts my running, deal. That's they, what all Reggie and Jensen are doing. They cancel the every quarterback. Time. Every time. He has the unless, ball or not. Unless they give it to the dive guy and we see it and go help on the dive. Other than that, okay. every time the quarterback gets that. You smack him. Every, you every hit time. every time. Even every if he pitches the ball, you and take him you down. Hit him. You know you take him There down. you go. Every time every he time has the ball, the he turns the ball and you hit him. Hey, we got a man. Man. Yeah, you got to win. Yeah. We got a man. Uh, I'll be at the house tonight. Let's get the second group up ready to go next. Get the second group up ready to go. <laughs> nice snap, Jim. Speeding? And how important is it to win the Super Bowl? It's very important to me. Um, you know, it's uh, for pride in the state, and uh, you know, I think we have a really good chance of winning this year. Uh, I hope the weather uh, stays with us. <laughs> no problem. We've got all day. I don't want to go. I don't have a lot of things to do. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Yeah. It's all right. Let's go rolling anytime. Okay. <laughs> 
uh, this game's really important to us. You know, I think we have a really good chance of winning this year. Um, hopefully, it won't be as close to games as it has been in the past. Uh, this game's very important to me and us, the seniors, to win. Uh, my, my father brought me up around the Oregon State or the rivalry, and uh, you know, I hope to win there tomorrow afternoon. I'll ask you the question to answer right to the front state kind of still. Okay. Steve? How important is it to win this city? Oh, it's huge, you know, just for the seniors and the bull bid that, that's coming up. I mean, this game, it's obviously the biggest of the year, and, uh, you know, we expect to do well, and they're going to come down and play hard against us, and it should be a pretty tight game. 23 hours before you take the field for the first time as the head coach of Oregon in the Civil War. Do you have any different feelings you have now than maybe you have at the beginning of the week? No, except I wish we'd have played the game today <laughs> or yesterday. Um, you know, I, ho I hope the weather holds up because I think it'll be a better game for everybody. And, uh, I think it'll uh, live up to its name. I'm sure it'll be a war. It'll be a tremendous battle between uh, two very motivated teams, and I, I think uh, I have great respect for the viewers that play hard, that have great defense, and uh, I think uh, the team that makes the fewest mistakes will win this game. You said all week long that you're most concerned about execution, not emotion. Well, I, I think that the, the emotional thing will supply itself here. I mean, we have 12 great seniors that have been tremendous leaders for us and are, are emotional people, and I think they'll bring the team along with them, no question. Obviously, the opportunities for us to win this game are tremendous, uh, but the biggest goal and the focus has been on uh, the Oregon State Beavers and their offense, defense, and special teams, and I think we need to execute. I think at, at times we have substituted emotion for execution in this game, and I think it's hurt us. I, I'd like to change that. I think we have to match the emotional intensity, but I think we will if we focus on, on playing our game and doing it right and we have a lot of the chance for success. The Cotton Bowl announced yesterday, and we told you guys yesterday that you will go if you win. Do you feel it's good for your team knowing that that's the case, or, or not? Well, I, I do because we've been working under that assumption. I've told our team all along, if we win, we'll go. And I believe that, and it's nice to, to know that it is the truth, and, and certainly that that uh, we wouldn't be cheated if we did. I think, obviously, it, it doesn't change our our primary focus and our primary mission, and that is uh, to win this game for uh, state bragging rights, but just even personal pride and team pride, I think, are, are the biggest factors that I saw. Thanks, Mike. All right, good luck. Videotape. All right. Yay! Go Ducks! <laughs> I've been playing with you all year. Come here, look at my See? Isn't that cute? That took a lot of work. <laughs> Whole big bunch of work. And the offensive lineman signed them all. Isn't that darling?
They should give uh, tailgate parties at least what, uh, one, two, three awards or something. First award, second award, third award. When they work like this to do something to, you know, make the team go better, to support them. Don't you think? It was good. You are going to enjoy it. Hey, did I ate that bunch of, I ate four of them. Did you really? <laughs> so I enjoyed it. See okay, you. see ya. Bye. This is a duck call to a beaver. <laughs> okay, these are standard tickets. These need to be for the missionaries. One more. Gun ball, here we go. And gun Go ducks.
We hang on to the ball, we win. Take that ball. All right, let's stop that. You guys go out in a hurry. Listen to me real quick. Mike says just whoop their ass. That's probably good enough for me. I want to tell you something. I couldn't say much this week about all that shit with Washington, but I will tell you this. I would go to war with you guys. I'll play Washington any place they want, any day they want, any yeah. I want. But yeah. Hell yeah. we don't have that opportunity. But we do have an opportunity right here out front. The Beavers are here, the Beavers are now. we got to match it. Everything's on the table we talked about. Expect the unexpected. Are you ready to play the game of your life or the reward of your life? All right, let's go.
shot, and that won't be that confusing. You'll have already heard it once, so it won't be that confusing for me. Just like me, when I call it not, I call it not. Like the one that... Thatcher and Williams seems to be the... Thank you. 